Hi again, it's Sarah here. I've got your second art activity for January with your home heart project. This time we're going to make a sporin out of paper. Yes, you did hear me right. A sporin out of paper. It is possible. Here is my little sporin here. It uses some of the paper that we made in the last activity, your tartan paper. It uses ribbon and some paper here. So you're going to need the paper, your painted tartan paper, some ribbon and a stapler and some scissors and that's it. So let me show you how to go about it. So I've got a piece of paper here. I would call this a long rectangle. It's kind of like an A4. I'll show you it against an A4 page. So that's an A4 and it's just a little bit longer. You probably could do it with an A4 page. So what I'm going to do first of all is kind of an envelope fold. So I want to bring up part of it, leaving a lid like that. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit because you just want a little bit of an overhang like that. And then I'm going to put a crease in it here and then also a crease at the top. So it does end up looking a bit like a envelope. Here we are, perfect. Now what we want to do is to round it off. Now most sporins are kind of rounded shaped, they're circular or they're kind of oval, like this one. So I'm going to draw onto this kind of block shape, the curves. You don't need to draw it, you can just cut it, but I'll show you so you can see on the video. What I'm going to do is round off the lid part and also round off the base. And I'll show you this on the camera there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut away these parts. I've put some dashes in, so I'm going to cut along here, cut this bit, this bit, and this bit away. So grab your scissors and fold it all together. That's one side. Other side and now I'll do the lid. The lid is probably not the right word for that. The flap, I don't know. Anyway it's going to be rounded. Okay so there we have got our sporin shape but at the moment if you were to put anything in it it would all fall out so if I get my stapler going to put a few staples around the edge so that your whiskey money's safe and doesn't fall out. There we go and wrestling with the jam stapler as always so don't panic happens to me as well. Now we're, now we're going somewhere. One more. There. Okay. So I have created a little pocket there and that is their basic sporing shape. So they are quite decorative normally. So to start decorating, you can do this any way you want. You could actually draw directly onto here and paint, but because we'd learned in the last activity how to make some tartan paper, we can just go ahead and use that as a decoration. So what I'm going to do is just line it up with the top of there. And if I put a staple in, just to hold it in place, on either side and 
if you hold it that way, you can see that you can just cut around there and it'll be the perfect size for that top part. So I'll do that now. Sporans normally have some tassels on the front and usually it's three tassels. So that's what we'll make next. A really simple way of doing it is to use some little bits of ribbon. So I'm going to show you how to make one. So I'm going to cut a small piece of ribbon like that and I folded it over. And now what I can do is I can create some kind of tassel effect by cutting up into it. Like that. We've got some little fringe, fringed parts. Then if I put it onto the front of this, like that, and I can get my stapler down into it if I hold it up you can see I've just put my stapler to the top of it put a staple through and there we've got our little tassel shape on the front of the spore in there so I would do that another two times so that you've got three tassels on the front just like this one and then the last thing is to put a, a waist strap on. Now there's no use having a spore in if you can't wear it. So another piece of ribbon here and you'll see really simply just lay it across the back and then put a little staple here and here and that holds it in place and then that's ready to get put around your waist to wear to any good party. And I hope you really enjoy making those and you put something exciting inside them like a hip flask. Okay, have a lovely time and I'll see you very soon. Take care, everyone. Bye then.